Sans Souci. I'm a singer songwriter and producer. I live in London and today is our last episode of this creative songwriting course. Today we're going to have a look at writing lyrics on top of your compositions. Uh, we're going to look at some good lyric writing. We're going to explore that world as well as having a go at writing your own melodies on top of your compositions. When I write my own lyrics I usually think in terms of two kinds of writing. I've come up with these two definitions myself and maybe they will fit your writing too. There is one style that I would define more as conversational. So the conversational one is a bit more um, of a dialogue that you will have with yourself or with someone involved in a song or with your audience. And the second one is something that I would call a narrative or poetic style, which is basically a poem or a narration is more descriptive. When you go and write your own lyrics, I would like you to either use one or the other, or if you feel brave enough, you can mix them. I'm going to play a song for you called Make One From A Two. What goes wrong with you? I've observed the change of mood If I am honest That seems like you But we hide it Like everyone else Do we rate our smiles To weigh every single line we deliver If I am honest I would with you Bones like ours Make one from a two 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 So who am I talking to? I'm talking to a person that is feeling a little bit upset. And what am I saying to them? Well, I am writing this song to make sure that they don't feel judged about it because it happens that we feel upset sometimes. And one interesting thing about this song is that I keep swaying between talking to myself and talking to this person as if it were one person, which is the whole point of the song, making one thing out of two in this case, out of two people. Now let's look at another song of mine. I played this song for you in the first episode. Um, this song is called Human, and I wrote it in the moment where I wanted to get rid of a lot of labels that were weighing on me. So right now I'd like you to think about what kind of style I'm going for. So before, I think you got a bit of an idea of what I was going for, it was a, it was a conversation. Um, let's have a look at this one. We all need that time to be rebel and connect Your arms can rest, come and sit down near me I'm just going to play these first two lines because I think this is telling you a lot about the style that I'm establishing already. This is not quite a conversation. I'm taking an inspiring thought and I'm translating it into a song with a touch of conversation that I'm having with an unknown listener and with an unknown subject. That could be me, that could be you, it could be all of us. Now that we've gone through some lyrics, I'd like to talk about melodies. And I'd like to talk about the inspiration that I've got from some of my favourite writers and lyricists. I'd like to talk about an artist that really inspired my songwriting, Lauren Vula. She's a British artist and I love her music because it's really original. She uses a lot of beautiful melodies, creative chords, progressions, and that informs a lot of the things that I do in my music. I find it really refreshing to listen to her music. So right now, I'd like you to do a little bit of a research on your own. I'd like you to think about some of your favorite artists. Listen to a song that 
you've been you've been singing for the whole week or research some of the artists that uh, you honestly love and you like to share with your friends analyze these melodies and these songs and pick some of your favorite ones once you pick them try to reproduce them and try to use them into your own songwriting but what you have to do at this stage is take in these melody lines you might want to stretch them, you might want to shorten them, you might want to tweak some melodies, you might want to readapt some of the words from your journal to fit them into these melodies and rhythm. So do as you like, use your taste and take inspiration from the artists that you love. Okay, now it's time to write your own melody and your own lyrics. Let's pick a sentence. So I'll give you a real example of what you might want to do when you pick your journal and you highlight some of the sentences that you like the most. Autumn makes me feel nostalgic. Let's break this sentence into syllables. Autumn makes me feel nostalgic. Once you break it down into syllables, try and find a rhythm that you actually like. So you will stretch or shorten some of the syllables. Uh, I decided to pick this one. Autumn makes me feel nostalgic. Rhythm done. Next stage, think about a melody. And I want you to be very creative with this. You don't need to have any particular musical knowledge. Perhaps you can take some shapes, think about some shapes and you can draw them on a piece of paper to inform the way your melody is going to work. So let's say I want my melody to go up Autumn makes me feel nostalgic. That could be an example. Or you want it to go down. Autumn makes me feel nostalgic. As simple as that. So now have a go at creating your own melodies, your own rhythms. There is no right or wrong. This is just a matter of your own taste and how you feel about it. You don't have to know a lot about music to draw some shapes and get inspired by that. So have fun with it and I can't wait to hear what you've come up with. It was so nice to be with you in this space for these three episodes. I hope you enjoyed yourself a lot and I can't wait to hear everything you've created. My name is Sans Souci and I hope to see you soon. Bye. If I am honest, that seems like you, but we...